G'day CCC, greetings from Judy Knight in Hungary. She can't be with us because you know she has had an accident, she's tore her Achilles tendon and uh, she's recovering well, but thank you for your prayers. We've really appreciated the fact that you've been praying for us. Thank you for your generous uh, giving, for making this mission possible. I've got to tell you, this has been a fruitful time. This has been the longest time we've been here and um, I believe this has been the the uh, most significant time. My Hungarian has improved out of sight and uh, I've been able to speak in Hungarian without any translation in big meetings which has been a breakthrough in my life. I know that you are through your missions uh, focus. I've got to tell you that um, uh, I understand that it's, uh, it's, the theme is illuminate and this particular week you're talking about fanning the flame. Well Judy and I I think have been fanning the flame and finding the embers here in this nation and in many churches. So uh, I can I can concur with what you guys are doing and believing with you that uh, that uh, this month will be a significant month as you dig deep into into God and uh, believe for uh, the continued generosity of the church. I know that CCC has been and is a generous church, and we boast about you in every church we go to as our home church. And um, the uh, th last three months, Judy and I have been spending time here in Joseph and Lila's church, um, and where we've been involved in, uh, they've actually asked us to change the structure of the leadership and change structures of different things that they've been doing in the church. And so we really uh, have had a freedom to do lots of things. We've implemented G3 and uh, the SOAP, uh, uh, devotional readings and things like that. So. That's been very, very helpful. We've had six baptisms this last uh, week, and the church is actually really empowered, and they're going very well. The leadership have given us terrific feedback of what has taken place. Also, God has given us a, an amazing uh, open door to help the transition of the movement. We've had uh, this transition happening uh, over the last uh, few weeks, and the uh, transition has been absolutely superb. The new leader has taken on the work. There's tremendous trouble here in Hungary, which I can't go into, in terms of church and state. But um, uh, through the involvement and through the many years of our involvement with these churches, they've given us amazing favor. Um, last week, or two weeks ago rather, we've been involved in a worship uh, school, summer worship school in Debrecen. And that was fantastic. We've had a number of sessions there. And there was also a prophetic school that was attached to that. They've asked me to take a session there. Over 120 people came to learn about the gift of prophecy. And uh, so much feedback came back. And in fact, the leaders have asked, would we uh, consider coming back next year to speak at the worship school and the prophetic school? Over 700 registrations came in and 800 people came in the night meetings. Straight after this, we went to Uska, which is a gypsy church right on the Ukraine border and uh, Belinda and Duncan were able to be there with the kids and it was a superb time together. Also, uh, in, this, in this season of August, we are going to be going to uh, two family camps. One is a totally new uh, movement that has opened their door to us. We'll be speaking at their camp and also the leader, the, the head church or the main church in Budapest, we're speaking at their summer camp. And in fact, in their church, the elders have asked would we speak about uh, giving, about being a generous church. So we can use CCC as a great example of a generous church. And this is a first for this particular church, let me tell you. So that's been fantastic. Again, uh, at the end of August, we're going to Slovakia. Pastor Milan has asked us to come. And um, they are this whole IRG movement on the western part of Slovakia has uh, coming together for a number of meetings. And, um, and then, of course, uh, that's the end of our five months. So thanks again for your prayer, thank you for your support, and God bless you.